Hello everyone and welcome back to Cooking and Kids. In today's episode, I'm taking you far, far away. We are heading to the other side of the planet, to Turkey and the city called Bodrum. I've been always fascinated with history, which makes this trip very special. There's nothing better than finding things you love in one place. I'm curious to find out how food changes the cultures and how it intertwines with history. Growth of any civilization heavily depends on its resources, food being one of the most important. In this area, a testament to the nature's abundance is evident everywhere. Fresh and nutritious food played a big part in economical and cultural growth of this region. And while I can't wait to learn more, these cats couldn't care less about it. So let's explore and see what kind of food nature around here has to offer. This crystal clear sea is rich in healthy fish. We got the boat, the crew, and the weather is good, so off we go. This will be a lots of fun because as you can see, we don't even need a fishing pole. All right, kids. So today we're going to learn how to clean and how to prepare fresh tuna. We are also gonna introduce a new plant to you. This is a sea bean. I have never seen it nor tried it before and there is a pretty good chance neither did you. These branches need to be stripped of its leaves. So a lot of work for a little bit of food. So I hope they appreciate it, yeah. okay? Because we work hard. In this episode and with the chef's help, I wish to teach you how to make a fish very easily and quickly and make it look like you're a pro at it. We're keeping ingredients very simple with one huge advantage because these ingredients are locally grown and they are super fresh. Like this local cold pressed extra virgin olive oil which our skipper's family makes. Food like this is such a blessing and it deserves its proper presentation. I will take a few extra minutes to set up a nice table, after which we are inviting our friends to share this food and to celebrate this beautiful day. Okay, kids, so this is Vlada in action, so you can go ahead and laugh. But joking aside, staying active and eating healthy is super important. So let's see if this episode could encourage you to eat a little bit more seafood. 
All right, this is our chef on a boat. And when he when he makes food, he's very serious about making sure that it's fresh. Okay, how fresh? This fresh. Uh, chef is not just cooking for us, but he's also catching the fresh fish. Unlike for our chef who does this almost on a daily basis, catching fresh fish and preparing it the same day is a rare privilege for the rest of us. The only kind of tuna I get is the tuna from a local grocery store. So I'm very interested to see how will chef clean it and prepare it. In addition to our catch, we are also cooking this fish tonight and we are going to show you how to prepare sea beans. Okay, you clean this one, I clean the next one. Okay. Sounds good? I've been cleaning fish since I was 10 years old, but I have never done it this way. I have never cleaned the fish from the top of its head. All right, so I just learned something because uh, when I clean fish, I don't go as far into the head as he did. All right, so tuna, you have to take the skin off, correct? No. No? You see, I just learned something else. If it was me cleaning the fish, I would be telling you to fillet it and skin it. But chef is doing it differently and I'm glad that we all get to learn something new together. We have a really mean captain. He wants to eat a good food. So now I have to get in the kitchen with our chef to make him a dinner too. Yeah. So, yep. Okay. Otherwise, captain said everybody off the boat. If the food is not good, everybody off the boat. Okay. So um, and you just saw what the chef did with the fish. And I'm going to try to see if I can do the same. This is a pretty big knife. All the way up, right, Chef? Yeah. All up. The way. More. yeah. Uh, up, up. Okay. And then we're just gonna gut it. I, I don't. My fingers don't work really good. My kids. I don't know how to get this part out. Okay. Like this? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. us are disconnected or we have forgotten about oh, how, what it takes to get the good and fresh food on the table. So jobs like this are sometimes necessary and although it's not my favorite thing to do in the kitchen, I am determined to get it done. Very good. Turkish way, meaning 
straight from the sea to the kitchen to the table. And let's see what, how what kind of tuna uh, we make tonight. There's absolutely no chance to fail because I have an amazing team with me. We are starting dinner preparations by boiling sea beans. So, Captain, um, why, yes. did you, why did you hire Hassan to do be a chef? Yes, because uh, I wanted him to become a um, chef and then, uh, 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 and then skipper. A skipper? Yeah. Oh, so you cannot become a skipper until you become a chef first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I see, I see, okay. So, you're telling me that you're the one who taught him how to cook? Yes, you know, I... Uh, Teach him how to do that. Hassan, is it true? Yeah? Okay, but let's... Is it, is it fair to say that you have your own flavors and your own spices too? Yeah, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. This was a perfect time to arrive at our destination. It's a sunset time and the weather is calm and cool which makes it perfect for exploration. We're sending everyone off the boat to check the local town and to look for a good coffee shop. And while they're having fun exploring, crew and I are off to the kitchen. This is a new kind of vegetable, if you will, or a side dish. It's called sea beans. I have never had it before, but um, what you do, you cook it and then you just peel it off of the stem like this. This is going to be your side dish tonight. So I better get busy and help the chef. Our guests better appreciate it because this is a very tedious work. Um, I just learned that this plant goes, uh, grows in a sea and after cooking it for a while each one of these branches need to be stripped of its leaves. So a lot of work for a little bit of food. So I hope they appreciate it, okay, because we work hard. Seawater is known as the best source of every mineral on the planet, giving sea beans a high nutrient profile. Sea beans contain almost 10 grams of protein in a half a cup. Calcium, iodine, magnesium, copper, vitamin E, vitamin C, iron, potassium, and a whole lot of dietary fiber. Chef will be serving it as a side dish in a form of a citrusy salad, which will be a perfect addition to this gorgeous fish. like a paste okay so evidently I did not do a good job chopping so chef is here making a paste out of garlic which obviously it's gonna be more flavorful so all right chef lesson learned okay, this good. boat right. is starting to smell like my home garlic and lemon that sure brings memories Anyhow, while we are cooking the rest of the crew is out there making sure the boat gets thoroughly cleaned all right, so let's uh, focus on making the marinade for the fish. So as you see, we're starting with some olive oil. And as I said earlier, this olive oil was made by our skipper's family. So it's super fresh. We're adding a whole bunch of garlic, and then we're gonna add some lemon and spices. And then out of nowhere, Captain shows up with this. That is the prettiest baklava I have ever seen. Me? Yes. <laughs> the best. Oh my goodness. I can't tell you how delicious this pistachios baklava is. I will have to do some research on how this particular baklava is made. For now, we had a taste of it. Rest is for the dessert tonight and we're moving back to our dinner. Okay kids, so this is pretty simple, right? 
All the chef is doing is making small incisions in which he will insert some additional fresh garlic. By the way, you can try to do a similar thing with the trout, which can be purchased at your local grocery store. Okay, so our chef is now preparing a bed of vegetables for the fish. Okay, very good. So earlier, uh, we peeled a bunch of garlic, but I chopped it all in small pieces. He didn't tell me he needed a clove like this. So now we have to peel even more garlic. This boat is gonna smell good tonight. The next step is just as simple. Once you have the garlic inserted into the fish, we're just gonna set the fish on a bed of mixed vegetables. We are starting with the thick slices of onions, to which we will add some young potatoes, peppers, celery, and some more red onion. Adding mushrooms or fresh zucchini would be just as good. Next are fresh lemon slices, which is my favorite ingredient and almost a must have when you serve fish. How much to add is entirely up to you. Now comes the sauce with all this good olive oil. Get more olive oil and some fresh herbs, salt and pepper, right? Chef explained that you can use herbs and spices per your taste. The main thing is to add enough olive oil lots of lemon juice, lots of garlic, salt and pepper, and the rest is up to you. This looks so beautiful. The boat is squeaky clean and dinner is already in the oven. Everything's nice and clean. Most importantly, everybody is in a good mood even our captain. Hey, the captain approves! <laughs> captain approves, he's taking pictures too. I think we did it. Chef Hassan will continue to work on assortment of side dishes for tonight while I go outside to get our table set. The rest of the crew is totally unaware about the surprise we're preparing for them. We are going to turn tonight's dinner into a special dining experience. There's no wind, so we can dine tonight in peace. And since we are visiting such a beautiful town, the chef is making such a special dinner, we're gonna make it extra, extra oily. A dish like that fish deserves a grand table. Does the captain do anything on this boat? Just, just drive, that's it, that's it? <laughs> Come on, let's decorate the table. Yeah. Okay, the captain is spoiled. Yeah, definitely spoiled. With everyone's help, we had our table set up in no time. I really wanted to have some fresh flowers on our table, so I stepped off the boat to ask a local bar owner if I could pick a few flowers off of his tree. As you can see, he was more than generous. Every day in life is special, and the memories we create along the way are absolutely precious. That's why tonight, with a little extra effort and teamwork, we are turning our ordinary dinner into a dining experience. Our busy lives often take us away from experiences and moments like these. And that's why it's important to be intentional and to put more effort in having experiences and creating memories like these. The table is set and thanks to the captain and the boys, uh, we made it look really nice. And all that's left to do is to finish up with the side dishes. On which our chef Hassan continues to work on. While decorating tables, I missed to see how he prepared all these elaborate dishes and I'm now trying to watch how he makes the special coleslaw and he prepares tuna.
With everything under control in the kitchen, Captain and I will visit the map. We are start from here. What's and the name of the town? It is, we are start from the, here, we are called um, Bites. 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 Okay, we started from Bites. Bites. And mm -hmm. then we are pass all the way from here. And then I stop here. What's the name of that challenge, Captain? Pinidos. What is it? Pinidos? Yes. Here, okay. yes, those, and then I pass all the way from here. And we are now in Dacha. What is it called? Dacha. Dacha. Yeah. Dacha. Okay. Dacha. Okay. Very nice. What's next? And we are coming from here all the way. We will come. We are stopped to here. Oh, Suit. 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 Yeah. Suit. 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 Okay. Suit. Very then, good. Uh, yeah. If you like nature, history, and food, Turkey is definitely a place to come. There's so many beautiful places to see, great dishes to try, and wonderful people to meet. So hard. Oh welcome, welcome, God, come on. Pictures. Come so on amazing. in, come on in. Oh so my beautiful. God. <laughs> so beautiful. Amazing, amazing. I'm glad you like it. It's so beautiful, honey. Wonderful. Seeing their smiley and surprised faces made it all worthwhile. Yeah, guests, guests are here, so it's time to sit down and dine. Reconnecting people over a dining table is a passion of mine. And tonight we have a special privilege to dine with people from different countries, different religions and different cultures. All right, it certainly is a masterpiece. And so let's go in and have a dinner. So oh All right. Five different countries and three different religions, all represented at one dining table. And finally, his fish that he caught today. Oh, you caught it? Yeah. Thank you. Very nice sauce. Yes. Thank you. Sit down. <laughs> okay. I forgot to say, he also has a very cute personality. Wow, that was so Traveling is by far one of the best gifts we can give to our family and ourselves. In today's societies, we are presented with countless opportunities to spend our money on various things. So I would like to encourage you to think about what really matters to you and what is it that brings the most value to your life. I wish that every young family and every young person will have a means and opportunity to travel and explore the world. Traveling has a great educational component and it definitely brings us all closer together. It promotes more understanding and more compassion among cultures. And I hope that we all agree that today's world could use a little more of that. Cheers. How do you say cheers? I feel very privileged and excited to share these mini series from Turkey where we will continue to feature extraordinary places, people, and foods. Yay! 
Oh, and let's not forget about our dessert tonight because that's going to be featured in one of our future episodes. After beautiful last night's gathering, this morning we're continuing on a turquoise blue waters to discover what makes Turkish coast so special. I wish I can explain and bring it to you, this a feeling of salty breeze in my hair as we skip along the Mediterranean waves between historical places and hot spots and these rustic coastal restaurants. I'm a big foodie, but I'm also very passionate about history. And Turkey happens to have so much of it. So our next episode will focus more on following the footsteps of generations and generations of humanity. Our next episode will also feature first known library in civilized world. There's so much to see and so much to learn, and I can't wait to share it all with you. As a child, the only way to travel was to watch documentaries, which took me all around the planet. And I hope to use my program to do something similar and to take you with me on these short voyages where you can get the sense of different cultures, different history, different foods, and most of all, to get the sense of all that's waiting for you. We are not inventing anything new. We're just doing more of what we know already works. Thank you so much for joining our travels as we continue to better understand and better connect with people and the world around us. My name is Vlada Vladik. I'm a founder of a charitable organization called Vlada Seeds of Life, whose mission is reconnecting families and communities to foster healthier lifestyles and relationships. We are also bringing back homemade meals because we believe they help reconnect families and communities. Understanding and knowing the world around us and getting involved while giving back is the key for the future of our youth. We would greatly appreciate if you can take a moment to visit our website and to find out how you can get involved and help us continue to bring the positive family programs like this one to your television station. Before we conclude this episode, I want to send a special thank you to our chef Hassan and the rest of the crew. Thank you for your warm hospitality and for so lovingly sharing your country with us.